During my break, I got a call from a gentleman by the name of Pundani, and um, the question comes from the calculus section. It's a really nice question. It's not that easy. So I'm hoping that we're going to get him on the line quite quickly, and then we're going to be able to go through it with him. Um, just to set up the question for you, he gave me that we have a cubic curve, and the picture is such that it has a turning point at C and A, and A's coordinates are a third A, and C's coordinates are minus 3, 0. And then they gave us that the defining equation was y equals x plus 3 squared and times by minus x plus m. And Pundani, you're with us now. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, John took this caller. I immediately assumed that you were a male. That's unfortunate. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay, Pundani, um, what school are you at? In Cape Town. No, it's in Limpopo. Oh, in Limpopo. Okay. Yeah. All right, Pundani, have I got the picture correctly as you described it to John? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, Pundani, the first thing that they wanted us to do with this particular question was to prove that m is equal to the value of 2. Yeah. Now, um, if we don't finish the entire question, I hope you'll forgive me, but I'm going to concentrate on taking you through your first two questions thoroughly, okay? Okay. All right, Pundani, we need to prove that this value m over here is a 2. Have you got any idea how we're going to start off the question? Yeah, I thought I had an idea. Mm -hmm. So tell uh, me about that. I think we should first remove the brackets okay. in order to, to derivate well because in order to get the, the gradient, we derivate. Okay, that sounds absolutely wonderful. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply out these brackets. So we're obviously going to just square that x plus 3 and get x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then we've got this minus x plus m. Right, just take me through the product there quickly. What are we going to get? And when we multiply through? Okay, it's going to be negative x cubed. Yes. Plus x m squared. Plus okay, x squared m, m good, yes. yes. Uh, minus 6x squared. Yes. Plus 6mx. Good. Keep going. Uh, minus 9x. Good. Plus 9m. Good. Okay. Now, you said that what we're going to have to do is take the derivative of that. So, would yes. you do the derivative immediately for me? Okay. It's going to be negative 3x squared. Yes. Plus 2x. M. Good. Keep going. Minus 6x plus... Uh, uh, uh. Take the derivative. So we're taking the derivative of this one. So it's going to be minus 12x, hey? Oh, yes. Minus yes. 12x. Keep going. Plus 6... Mm -hmm. 6m. Plus 6, yes. Good. Min minus 9. Yes. And then the derivative of this is 0, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, what are you going to do with that derivative, Pundani? What do you know? You know that the derivative is naught when x is a third. Okay? Now, yes. what that means is that we actually have a turning point here. So, what do we know about the gradient of that yellow line? Any idea? No. Okay, well, at a turning point, isn't your gradient of your tangent to the curve equal to zero? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. So I know, Pundani, that at x is a third, your gradient is equal to zero. And that's exactly what I'm now going to work with, okay? Yes. So I'm going to, instead of my f dash x, I'm going to replace it with a zero. And instead of my x value, I know that it's happening at x is a third. So I'm just going to substitute x 
with the value of a third into that equation. Okay? Okay. Now notice that what that does is it successfully gets rid of all the x values and it means that what I've got left here is only in one variable. Which variable have I only got left now? Can you see it's only m? Yeah. Right, yeah. which means I've now got an equation that I'm going to solve for m. So let's go ahead and do that. A third squared is a ninth and two times a third is two thirds m minus 12 times a third is 4 plus 6m minus 9. You happy with me rushing you through that step? I'm happy. Okay, right. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate fractions. So the very minute that I can get rid of fractions, I do. And you can see that what I've just done in this step is I've just multiplied the 3 into the the ninth and got one third. So I cancelled the three into the nine. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Pundani, I'm rushing you because I just want to finish this question before I run out of time. I'm going to get a common denominator of three, which means that I'm going to multiply this by three and this by three and that by three. Okay, can you see what I've done? Yes. Okay, now notice that I'm going to get a one and a 12 and a 27 on the left hand side and I've got 20m on the right hand side and that means that 20m comes to 40 and so my m is equal to 2 exactly as they said it had to be. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now the first question was prove that m is 2 so I now know that this is a 2. And I've done the first part of the question. Okay. Yeah. Pundani, we have actually run out of time for this evening's show. So I'm hoping that if you can't do the rest of the questions, you're going to call us back on Monday. Okay.